paperwork before you travel to another country to meet someone. If you're not careful, it can cost you your life. A man from Texas fell in love with a woman he met online from Haiti. He went to visit her after only knowing her for five months. When the man from Texas traveled to Haiti to visit the woman he fell in love with, the woman he wanted to marry, she was forced to do stuff against her will by gang members. This man from Texas had to hide under a table and listen at his woman scream while she was being taken advantage of by gang members and it almost cost him his life. Let me explain. When this man got to Haiti, him and a woman he met online called a taxi to her neighborhood. When he got to her neighborhood, he realized it was very rough. It was a bunch of men walking around with weapons, just looking crazy for no reason. He was very suspicious of the neighborhood, but the woman was exactly who she was on the phone. She was a very good woman and he still really liked her. This man first night in Haiti, they heard someone trying to break in their house. The woman forced the Texan man to get under the table. He said, I'm not getting under the table. He was ready to fight whoever was trying to break in their house. She warned him. She said they will execute you if they find out a man is in here. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone to rule well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Now, this is the case in a lot of quote unquote third world countries, and mainly where Babylon has had some sort of hand, whether directly or indirectly, in the destabilization of these countries. All the dirt that this place is, all the dirt that Babylon has done is going to come upon her head in every way, shape, and form. So the scripture tells you that, you know, this daughter, uh, the daughter of Babylon, um, you know, she shall not lo know loss of children for la uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing. She sh I, I, I will not know, you know, I'll be a lady forever. I won't know loss of children. And then scriptures refer to as the virgin daughter because she's never been touched. We... Not we, but these Babylonians. We just happen to live here. But these Babylonians, the, you know, the Rome 2.0 has gone all the way, all over the place, all throughout the world, causing chaos, wreaking havoc, raping, robbing, stealing, murdering, all kinds of things that have gone on. And all of that will come here, not only from outside, but from its very own citizens. Okay, and this video goes on to say that he wanted to do everything in his power to get the girl back. Um, I don't know if this may or may not have recorded, but... The man's explaining that a dude from Texas went to visit a girl from Haiti and the when she got there, he saw that he, she lived in a very, you know, pretty rough neighborhood. But the girl who was who she said she was. But there was a bunch of, you know, marauders and gang members with weapons, you know, seeking in <laughs> seeking whom they may devour, basically acting like they daddy Esau, you know, because when Jake get wicked, they they go all the way. And um, basically what he was saying was that. Uh, men uh, broke into the house, four men, and she told him to hide under the table. And the man was like, I'm not finna hide. I'm finna defend you. But she said she knew better. She knew that they would execute him in the worst way possible. So he had to hide under the table. And four men came in and pretty much assaulted this woman um, repeatedly. So he was trying to get her back. But when he tried to, when he got back to the U.S. and tried to get in contact with her, she was not to be heard from ever again. So this brings me to... Uh, second extras 15 and if you go let me open that second extras everything in these scriptures will come to pass especially here and these americans these modern day uh babylonians they're not ready for this so you can read second extras 15 you can read through second extras 13 um let's see how where do i want to go Uh, I mean, I can read eight. I, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them those things in which wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Uh, let's see. Actually, here's what we want. Fourteen. 
Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another, sword in their hand, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and nor uh, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and the men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and would spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay, so all of that is coming here. And, and, and scriptures tell you, arise ye women, you know, that dwell, at, that, that, that are at ease. So the pride of these women, um, uh, 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 the, the entitlement that they have to think that, you know, they, they own men or that they are equal to men. Uh, what's coming down the pipe is going to show a lot of them they're going to return to their natural order they're going to want to seek a man but what they are looking for well, they may or may not know is a man of the lord the scriptures tell you that roughly paraphrase he'll make us uh, uh more precious than the gold of ophir and do your research on ophir and how why and what the gold is you know look into how what that's about on your own but all of this is heading here and there is no way out with the exception that you be uh, that you have that mark that is in Ezekiel, not the physical one in, in, in Revelation, but the, the that spiritual one where it says touch not a man. And I'm, and I'm driving. So I'm, I'm trying to read some and then get some get some scripture uh, as I'm moving. So, I'll, you know, forgive me as I roughly paraphrase this. But uh, yeah, you, that, that the scripture in, in Ezekiel. Uh, the Lord tells these angels slay utterly old and young women and children spare nobody but touch no man that has my mark those that are sighing and crying for the abominations of this place of Babylon so the same way Sodom and Gomorrah was taken out because of their wickedness everything that's happening there well there was actually like five cities but there were you know everything that went on there then and got it destroyed the Lord said that let Sodom and, Mer and Gomorrah be an example. So, you know, that's what's coming here. But before that, as we read here in 2nd Ezra, you're going to have the unrest. You're going to have the famines. You're going to have complete and total anarchy. Maybe it uh, may be regional. Maybe it is the entire country as a whole. Who knows? We don't know what's coming down the pipe. What we do know is that the Lord is going to allow complete and utter chaos and destruction to befall this place. And that is before the missiles. The people who make it past that, you are nothing but missile fodder. And I'm speaking to those, those two-thirds and the other heathen. So, um... If you don't do anything else, Israelite, I'm talking to you, all right, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, humble yourself, repent, get under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, do what you need to do, read these scriptures, learn them, and do your best to fall in line, because there is no out, there is no saving yourself. You have to be in line with the Lord, and most importantly, you have to be of the elect. That is what that humility uh, entails. All right. Um, what other scripture did I have while I'm at a light? Okay, Luke 21 and 26. And you need to read through 2nd Ezra 15 if you have not read it already. Oh, before this light turned green, I think I can read it. Luke 21, I'm going to read 25. I'm just going to read the highlighted portion. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming in the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud uh, with power and great glory. So prior to Yahweh Shai returning, you see there is chaos men having heart attacks falling out so you know that there is some mess that is going to uh, going to happen and even with that it says isaiah tells you that you know uh seven women shall take hold of one man so as prideful as these women are right now there has to be some serious things coming down the pike for them to uh, come up off that pride and just say, look, I, I, I'll feed myself, I'll clothe myself, just cover me. Bear that in mind. Keep that in mind 
whenever you feel like you're falling short, and again, I am preaching to self, whenever you feel like you're falling short, just know that there is complete and utter chaos coming this way. And if you do not uh, build that inner man and seek the Lord now while you have the opportunity, there is nothing that's going to help you. You are on the opposite side of the Lord's good grace. Keep that in mind. So with that being said, um, the, I'll, I'll let him, I'll let this uh, TikTok finish. Hopefully it records, but uh, if not, you know, I'll redo it, but the edification got to go out. So I'm going to let this play and then that'll be the video. Three gang members broke in a house and took advantage of his woman for four hours. He was high and under a table, listening to her scream and cry. This was going on all over the neighborhood they was living in. Gang members would break in random people houses, execute the man if he's in there, and take advantage of the woman. When the gang I'm sorry, I gotta get <laughs> what well, what does that scripture say where it says you gotta bind the strong man first before you take the house? Roughly paraphrase, of course. Put that in your Google and get that precept. Gang members left the man from Texas was devastated. He couldn't even look at her, but he supported her. After that happened, the man from Texas wanted to leave immediately, but he wanted to stay and support her. He didn't just want to run out on her like that. This man was in Haiti for four days. Three out of the four days, different gang members broke in a house and took advantage of his woman. And he had to hide under a table. One time he urinated on himself because he couldn't move, he couldn't get up, and he couldn't use the restroom. When the man was getting ready to leave Haiti, he promised this woman he was going to put her in a better living condition. He don't care what the cost was. He said he had no clue this neighborhood was this bad and women was going through what they was going through on a daily basis. And he promised to bring her to the United States no matter what it takes. When he got back to the United States, he texted this woman and he called her. No answer or no response. He never heard from her again. If someone seen a man coming out of her house, can you just imagine what they did to her? This Think about that. Ponder that in your mind. What's going to happen here in Babylon the Great? All of that will come here. So again, as I've said before, repent, fall in line, do your best to learn these scriptures, uh, 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 walk with, with a humble and contrite heart Okay, understand when you pray You pray to the, the, the true name of the Heavenly Father That is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists But Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shai Whom you ignorantly refer to as Jesus When you pray, you pray to them You need strength, you need healing You need uh, 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 increased discernment uh, You want to strengthen your faith Pray that, but do not waver Book of James, uh, uh, James 1 and 4, I believe or, or James 4 and 1. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of driving. Let me find it Goodness, while I'm moving. Uh, hmm. Yes, James 1 and, 1 and 5 and 6. All right, I'll read that and that'll be the video. Okay, uh, 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 James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally. Uh, here we go. Salakia. And, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Uh, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave in the sea, driven with wind and tossed. Right? So. Read these scriptures, man. Get in them. Know them. So that way you may recall them in a time that you need. Apply them to your life. That is how you get wisdom. Fast if you need to fast. Do what you need to do, but time is winding down. All right, so with that being said, Shalom.